Hello. And welcome back to Gold Rush RP. So as the title says, today we're actually going to be doing something a little different. And we're going to be doing a starter guide for Gold Rush RP. Which is a server that I've been playing on for pretty much the past couple months. And I've been enjoying it quite a lot. And I know a lot of people have been joining the server through my videos. So I figured I'd make an actual starter guide to give anyone looking to join the server a little bit more of a heads up. And some basic information on how to get started on the server. And how to actually physically set it up and join the actual server itself so before we start you of course are going to need a couple things so starting off you are going to need a steam account and have steam downloaded and then on top of that you are of course going to either have to have the red dead redemption 2 full game or at the very minimum the online version of red dead redemption 2 if you just have the online version it will work as well and you of course are going to need TeamSpeak and Red M both installed. Links to both will be in the description. And then you're gonna need another plugin for TeamSpeak called Salty Chat. But again, we will go into that later. But the links for all of these different things will be in the description if you wanna go check them out. But before we actually join the server itself, what we're gonna do is first of all, go over their Discord where you will find a bunch of different information for both your in-character and out-of-character needs. So let's quickly start off heading over to the gold rush discord again as always all these links will be in the description for how to join it so let's head over to the discord check it out go through it a bit and then i'll show you guys how to actually connect and join the server all righty so starting off on the gold rush discord what you're going to do to be able to actually see all the categories is when you first join i don't believe you'll be able to see almost any of these categories but you should be able to see the how to connect one and in here you should be able to see this little spot over here and under how to connect and this little spot where it of course does say how to connect here as well and over here under step one what you're going to want to do is go into the channel here called granted access and then of course follow the following instructions and it will show you how to get the grant granted access role and from there you should be able to now see the rest of the channels and now let's go over the rest of the information that you should now be able to see of course over on the gold rush roleplay discord so starting off the most important stuff that we're going to go over is just the gold rush information at the top here and then down here we're going to be checking out the notice boards the railroad tycoon the mexico category and of course the judicial system and those are going to be the main ones that you're actually going to want to pay attention to the rest of the stuff here is just all for different community things such as an ooc talk a little photo spot for in-game photos different spots for in-game clips and a bunch of other random stuff here but the important stuff that you're going to want to pay attention to is starting off in gold rush information under server status you're going to be able to see here the current amount of players online as well as if there is a queue and if there is how many players are in that current queue next you're going to be of course going to be able to see different announcements for the server here or different important announcements and of course any change logs in the change logs channel that happen as they update the server and they do update it again pretty regularly so make sure to keep an eye on this channel as well there of course is the little rules category which of course make sure you read the rules so you don't get banned and make sure you of course follow all of these rules as you are playing on the server they also have some teasers here of a bunch of random stuff for upcoming features for the server we can get a little bit of an insight to what they're working on and then of course the rest of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory i do recommend checking out the keybind commands as a lot of these commands are pretty useful and you will use them in your everyday experience on the server also again we'll check this out in game but there is a slash guide that will show you a bunch of useful tips for starting out as well and then of course the only other information that we're really going to want to check out is down here at the notice boards here we can see different boards where players in game can actually go up to these notice boards and then rp post flyers such as different kind of companies different kinds of restaurants or a bunch of just random stuff such as you know just looking for people here and there these notice boards are found all around the county and can be used to actually post that and then of course rp lee check what is on them and you can see a wider range of different things that are posted on each one of these boards in each one of the different parts of the county so if you're in game i definitely recommend going up to some of the notice boards maybe posting if you're looking for some certain information or just of course checking the actual notice boards and seeing a bunch of the different things on them as they might be 
be good ways to start off some cool RP with different various groups and of course just get acquainted with more people around the county. Definitely recommend checking them out and maybe even posting some stuff of your own. Next is going to be of course the Railroad Tycoon. Here you can see if the current railroad train is running and if it is where it's running to and where you can actually go and pick up and get on board for the different railroads and they also show you where each railroad will travel to and of course at what time and as well at the bottom you can see if the different railroad trains are currently running or not running below that we have everything for mexico as the server does have an expanded mexico version so you can actually go visit mexico and there's a lot of rp upcoming there as it was recently released you can even become a mexican citizen if you really want to all the information for mexico will be under here as well as the mexico wanted board where you can see different people who have different bounties over in mexico as they do do it separate than the main county next at the bottom the last thing we're going to be looking at in the discord is of course the judge message board here you'll be able to see different various letters both to the judge and from the judge about different legal stuff going on in the server and i definitely recommend checking this and reading this out and checking it pretty regularly whenever important info is posted but that's going to be about it for going over the discord and the main features that you will use as a player on the server now before we head in game to check all of that out you're going to have to know how to join the TeamSpeak and set it up so you can actually talk and interact with different players on the server. So of course, as always, click the link in the description and make sure you download TeamSpeak as well as going over to the how to connect and of course, downloading Salty Chat as well, which will of course be in the link in the description, or you can go over to the how to connect and click right here for it. And then of course, just follow the instructions as it goes. But for now, let's go head over to TeamSpeak and I'll show you guys how to set everything up real fast. And then of course, we'll get in game and show you guys a little bit more there let's again go talk about team speak real quick okay so getting onto the team speak again make sure you have downloaded salty chat and installed that as well all you have to do is download it and double click and install it before you actually open up team speak and that's pretty much all good to go now to set up TeamSpeak before we actually join their voice chat server what we're going to do is change a couple of the settings just to make it a little bit less annoying for you so starting off you're going to want to go over to at the top where it says self and you're going to click on that and you're going to scroll down or move your mouse down here to where you see sound pack and what you're going to do is just go over and hit sounds deactivated and then doing that you're going to actually want to set up your microphone by going to tools and then going down to i believe options and then from here you're going to go over to capture and then once you're in capture you're going to want to select your capture device for me it's going to be my chat mic so i'm going to click on that and then make sure you have pushed the talk on as you know of course having the continuous transmission is not going to work well because then you'll just be talking in game at all times so make sure you set a hotkey here for your push to talk and that should be pretty much about it and you should be all good to go from here what you're going to do is just go up to the top left hit connections connect and then of course put the team speak address for the gold rush server here again that will also be in the how to connect section on their discord and in the link in the description and then hit connect and then after this you don't have to really pay attention you can put this on another monitor or minimize it whatever you would like to do also make sure whenever it says there's an update you hit no as updating may mess it up just use the version in the how to connect section and you should be all good and just make sure you don't update this because it will mess everything up so hit no of course when that comes up then from here we're gonna of course launch red m and once your red M is all loaded up, you're just going to go over to play. And then up here, as you see, I've done before, you're just going to type in gold rush. And I believe it should be the only server that pop up. You're going to click on it, then hit connect. And again, I believe there is a queue right now. So sometimes it might take you a little bit to get into the server, but I'm going to quickly load in and then I'll show you again, of course, how to create your first character and then get started on the gold rush server. I'll see you guys once we're in game all righty so now that we are in game you of course will not have a character here so we're going to be doing it as if you were a new player so what we're going to do is you should see a little ticket probably in this area instead and of course you're going to be just hitting create from there you will make a first and last name let's just do billy buckles for our character name as we are not probably going to be using this ever again and we'll hit create 
from there you will select your first spawn city um from here it's really kind of all up to where you want to start out your story we're just gonna be starting in ansberg because i don't think it's very populated and it'll probably be pretty easy to do most of the stuff i want to do for the initial character creation over there so again let's head over to ansberg and select that as our initial spawn so let's click over on it and boom it should bring you into the world now from here, you're gonna do the initial character creation of your character. Of course, you can select either male or female. We're gonna just select male for now. And you can change a bunch of different aspects of your character. Of course, their eye color if you wanna change it, their skin color if you wanna change it here as well. You can change what kind of build you are, fat, extra large, there's a bunch of different builds. So kind of pick whichever one will work best with your character. You can then select your height if you wanna be short or of course, super tall. It's all up to you. Then of course, you can customize your face even more in different certain ways you can adjust the width and a bunch of different other features such as your eyebrows your ears your cheekbones your jaw chin and etc etc there's just a bunch of different character customization options you have there if you want to do them then of course you can of course select different kinds of hairstyles from here there's a ton of different hairstyles so make sure you spend some time and find and create the one that most fits your character you can then also select a beard if you want one of those as well well, again, there's tons of different options to choose from, so you can make your character very, very unique. Then, of course, at the top right, there's also a bunch of small details you can do to just tweak and fine-tune what you want your character to look like. Again, there's a ton of different options, so make sure you spend some time and make your character look how you want it to look, as, of course, this is going to be the main character that you're going to see for most of the time when you're playing on the server. And then, of course, when you're done, you can just at the bottom hit save, and of course, then double click, save again, and you should be good to start off. Now, when you first load in, you're of course not gonna know really too much about what to do. So if we look at our map, it will give us a pretty clear indication of a bunch of different things. And of course, as I said earlier, you can also do slash guide, and it'll give you a guide on a bunch of different stuff on the server that will give you a lot of information. Definitely recommend checking this out as it will help out quite a bit. But again, if we just open up our map here by hitting the M key on our keyboard, we can see a a bunch of different of these markers around town and we're gonna go through each and every one of them real quick so starting off i guess we will probably start with the main stores that you're going to be checking out as a new player and that, of course, is going to be these general stores. Now, that one's right over a sheriff's office, so it's not as obvious to see what the general store little logo looks like, but it should look like this little market here. And these general stores can be found all around the county, and most of them look pretty similar. And at these general stores, you can buy a variety of different goods, and uh, we'll go check out them right now. So let's again head over to a general store, and I'll show you guys what's inside of them real, real quick. And then, of course, I'll show you guys how we can go about changing our clothes and looking a little bit better. But first of all, again, let's go head over to a general store and I'll show you guys what's available at them. Also, another thing to keep in mind real quick is that when you do start off the server, you start off with $250 on your person. I do recommend probably going to a bank and depositing that as you don't want to get it robbed from you or get it stolen. But again, checking out a general store over here. Most of them have interiors. This one, unfortunately, does not. But if we open it up, we will see a couple different items. So starting off, we have your basic water as well as bread for food and water. If you're looking for some cheap food and water to start off your journey, Journey, I definitely recommend this out and there's different ways you can actually use that bread to make it better which again I recommend just going around and asking people questions a lot of people are very helpful you can buy a bunch of different ingredients here for a bunch of different things which again I won't be going into in this video you can also just buy some fun things such as pocket watches smoking pipes fancy fans and a bunch of other items and that's pretty much the main stuff you're going to want to look here is the both the water as well as the bread you can also check out an idea ID card if you want to be able to buy a bunch of different items that may require your ID and those are kind of the main things you're going to want to check out as a new player also the commonwealth crafting guide if we buy one of those we'll show you a bunch of different crafting recipes on the server which again we're going to go into crafting in just a little bit but for now you know we're looking a little naked so let's go head over to one of the many clothing stores again if we bring up our map and we look for this little clothing store icon we can find them in different various cities and towns around the whole 
counties so let's head over to the clothing store and i'll show you guys how that works all right so when you first head into a clothing store what you're going to be able to do is just hit u and this will actually bake it so you can create your first character's clothing set so let's quickly hit u and then from here we're going to get of course a bunch of different options for different kinds of accessories uh armor belts boots cloaks coats dresses eyewear gloves anything you can think of for character customization it's pretty much here there is a ton as you can see you know just looking at these there's 520 different coats 620 different boots 230 different ages belt buckles there's a ton of customizability that you can actually do with your character on the server but let's just kind of make a basic little set here and then i'll show you guys what you can do once you're done creating your character or adding on its clothing so again i'm just gonna go get dressed up a little bit right now of some random stuff and then i'll show you guys what we can do once we are done again you can also use q and e to rotate your camera s and w to go up and down and that's pretty much it you can also hit x to reset your view pretty simple stuff uh, all in all but again let's just create some basic clothing here and then i'll show you guys what you're able to actually do once you are done Alrighty, so i've just created a pretty basic character here and from here we can then hit save and then you can actually save your outfit if you want to you know of course change your clothes later on and then come back and use this same outfit later on so over here we'll just save it as a uh, winter or something and then hit yes and now if we want to we can actually go back to this outfit using slash outfits i believe once we're in a zone that we can actually use it at so it's pretty nice there so that's how to get your basic clothing and after you've gotten your basic clothing let's say you don't like your hat to so take off and on different various parts of your clothing it's pretty self-explanatory so again to take off your hat you'll just do slash hat to take it off and to put it back on same command same thing for everything else you want to take your boots off slash boots put them back on slash boots you want to take your pants off if you're feeling a little frisky slash pants if you want to put them back on slash pants all pretty self-explanatory and that goes for everything else such as gun belts um coats so for coats since we have a closed coat we do coat underscore closed and everything else is all pretty self-explanatory how to take on and off your clothing but next you're going to want some protection most likely starting off in the county so you're going to want to visit one of the gunsmiths like one over there and it's marked on the map by this little gunsmith icon and uh, of course there's usually some other companies that take care of it and if we head over there we can actually purchase our ourselves our first weapon and learn how to use it and then of course we'll also go over the inventory and some common commands while we're at it so going into the gun store there'll normally be someone working here you can actually buy the guns from for quite a lot less and through rp or you can of course just browse the gun shop here alone and find a certain weapon you want for this video we're going to choose something interesting what's a fun one we could choose we're going to buy this little sawn off shotgun for 80 dollars so let's hit boom and then we bought it and to go with that we're gonna need some ammo so let's also go over to the ammo category and buy a box of ammo now to actually use items and use your inventory what you're gonna want to do is hit b on your keyboard this should bring up your satchel that has all of your basic stuff as we can see we started off actually with three things of water and three things of bread and to use those different things of bread, all we're gonna have to do is of course, just hit right click and then use. And then of course we will drink some water and have our water go up. Pretty self-explanatory there. Now let's actually get out our brand new purchased weapon by hitting again, right click and use. And it should equip our sawed off shotgun as you can see in our holster on our right. And to take it out, of course, all we have to do is hit tab or hold tab go over to it and then we can equip it then to put it away all we have to do is hit tab again and boom it goes into our holster this holster is a little wonky so that's why our hands inside of it most of the holsters will be a little bit cleaner than that so again you can take it out with tab and put it away with tab as well then of course if you do wish to unequip it you can then right click and then hit use again and it'll of course unequip the gun or re-equip it then of course to load it with ammo all you have to do is take it out boom it's loaded and then if you run out of ammo all you have to do is of course right click again on the ammo box hit use and it will fill up your ammo in your current weapons 
Now next, let's go over some of the most common commands that you will use on the server and that you're going to have to get to using pretty often, pretty quickly. So starting off again, there's not too many commands that you actually have to use pretty often on the server. The most basic one is going to be slash PVP. What this will do is make it so when you know go up to someone, you won't actually start attacking them. And so you can actually get on the back of other players horses. If you have this on aggressive mode, you actually will not be able to get on the back of someone's horse. But if you have it on the friendly mode, you should be able to. The next sort of command, although it isn't really a command, is going to be hitting middle mouse. And this will bring up the emote wheel where you can choose different emotes to actually do and perform. So again, if we just go over here and we hit sit, then we'll of course sit down. And then if we hit middle mouse again and hit stop, we should stand up. Another way to do that is of course doing slash E space sit. And then boom, we will sit down. And then if we want to cancel it again, we can also do slash E space C and we will stand back up. Pretty self-explanatory there. Some of the other basic commands you're going to use is slash me. So if you want to show an action that you're doing as a person that you cannot do through scripts. So like slash me uh, scratches nose, just basic stuff like that. Also, if you want to have something that's going on consistently with your character, you can do slash O P I S O P is, and this will be for something that's a little bit more semi-permanent on your character, such as let's just say has a big gash on his face. And then you can walk around and this will actually stay on your character for as long as you want it. And then if you want to cancel it, you can, of course, just do slash opis again, and it should take it off of your character. Another command that you're going to probably want to know is how to get your telegram number so other people can telegram you and contact you at the different various telegram stations around the county. And to get that number, all you have to do is do slash get case, and that should get you your telegram number. Now, the next major feature that you're most likely going to be using on the server is, of course, going to be your bank. So if we go over to the bank and hold enter, this should bring up our bank account. We can see, hello, welcome to the bank, Billy Buckles. And from here, we're able to do various actions such as access our safety deposit box, where if you want to store various items, you can store them in here. And then at a later date, if you want to grab them, you can just go back into your safety deposit and then grab them back out. It's pretty self explanatory you can just store a bunch of items in there and then of course as a bank does you can deposit and withdraw money so let's put in 140 bucks and then if we want to withdraw it we can withdraw money from here as we want pretty self-explanatory but pretty useful to know now of course no cowboy would be complete without of course his horse to ride and you're able to actually access the various owned horses that you have over at the stable boys to call them out or over at one of these stables to access actually select which horse you want to use out of your currently equipped horses or owned horses and of course you can buy different horses from various people such as horse trainers or i believe you can actually purchase them some of them straight from the actual stables although they will be a little bit more expensive here let's go head over to one of these stables and uh, check it out and show you guys a little bit of what you can do at these various stables again there are a bunch of these across the whole county we can see one over in saint denis we can see one over in strawberry of course we can see one over in blackwater they're in pretty much every single main town but without further ado again let's head over to this stable down here right above van horn and show you guys a little bit about the stable menu and what you can do over at the different various stables Let's go head over there. Alrighty, so now we are over at the stable. And if we head inside here, we should be able to find a little stable menu that's usually located by this little circle. And then if we hold R, we can bring up the actual stable menu. And you can check out a couple of different things from here. You can check out various horses for auction that you can just buy straight up from here. And of course, if you want to look inside one, you can just select the different breeds boom and then you can select the different kinds and then see the different kinds of prices you can actually buy them for again these prices are only if you want to buy it from the actual like little stable thing here you can buy these horses and find these horses for a lot cheaper and even maybe trained up from the various people who are actually horse trainers on the server again most of the aspects of this server come from actually rping and talking to people so you know if you actually want to get anywhere on the server you got to go out and talk to people make friends friends and actually you know gain knowledge through just talking to people as i'm guessing around 90 percent of the content we will not actually be going over in this video as most of it can be 
found by just talking to people and a lot of it is actually hidden and not shown to the general public but again you can check out a bunch of different breeds you can buy straight up from the little trainer here if you are new starting off on the server i believe that the mange is the cheapest one to actually be able to buy which is buyable for a 110 dollars so pretty cheap if you are looking for a starting horse i'm pretty sure the mangy is the cheapest horse out there you can also check out different wagons for sale as well although all of these are very very expensive and these will probably be more later game things that you get as your journey progresses on the server next is of course going to be the horse stable where you can see your various owned horses we don't have any of course so you won't see any here but if you have bought a horse in the past you will see it there you can of course also check out your owned wagons here you can actually customize your horses same here you can customize your wagons and that's going to be about it for these stables hopefully that will give you most of the info you need to know and then of course if you have selected a horse you can come out here and anywhere where it says stable boy there should be a little area like such over here where you just hold r and it says open call menu and then of course if you do own a horse you should be able to call it in and spawn it in from any of these various locations now that is going to be most of the basic information again we're only going over the most basic stuff in this video so it's not going to be about 200 hours long as there's a lot of content to discover and find on the server but once you know you've created your character you've gotten your weapon or weapons or whatever you want and you've gotten yourself a horse and some food and water from here the journey is all up to you and it's what you make of it you can of course go to one of the various farmers across the towns such as the blackwater farmers market purchase some seeds and go to the various different grounds of farmland become a little farmer grow different various crops for yourself sell it to different either people uh, restaurants that need it or different people that need different ingredients such as tobacco cloth and other various crops you're able to grow you could go to one of the blacksmiths buy a pickaxe and head over to one of the various mines on the server become a miner for maybe to help blacksmiths gunsmiths or anyone else that may need the crafting materials you can go buy yourself a fishing pole and go fishing for a while and kind of help either supply different various restaurants again with different fish meat sell it to the different butchers around the town to make a little bit of money you can go hunting and of course find different various pelts meats and different various animal parts sell them to either other players or sell them straight up to the butcher you can go even find try and prospect for some oil and try and strike it rich you can go become an outlaw robbing stores and banks crafting various different illegal things such as moonshine growing different various illegal crops such as cocoa and swamp herb you can be pretty much anything you want to be you can go over to the sheriff's office maybe become a sheriff one day maybe you want to own one of the gunsmiths maybe you want to be one of the bartenders at a saloon again it is all up to you and what you want to make your story of but again there's a ton of various different ways you could go about doing pretty much anything on the server and the world is really your oyster i recommend going talking to some people just trying to find everything out through having various conversations with different players and groups on the server that's how you're going to grow and most likely get your name out there although again for everyone it might be a little hard to start off talking at the beginning but trust me once you get into it it's definitely worth it and i know you will enjoy your experiences but i think that's going to be pretty much about it for the starter guide for the server we went over most of the basic things and everything else it's a little bit more in depth i recommend just going around and talking to people people on the server from the day i have joined have been super helpful and the community for the most part is very friendly and most people really really love helping out new players if you just go up to them and say hey i'm new to the county i'm trying to figure out this that and that most people will be pretty nice and helping you along so hopefully you guys will enjoy your little adventure on gold rush and hopefully this video has kind of gave you the basic tips and tools necessary and if it has helped you out at all as always make sure to leave a like and subscribe i hope you guys enjoy your little various adventures and journeys and building your stories over on gold rush rp and i hope to see you soon hopefully you enjoyed and as always i will see you in the next video